friends, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking you through a 18 minute glutes and hammies stretch sesh. I know a lot of people struggle with really tight glutes and hamstrings and it can cause a lot of discomfort. So if you're looking for some relief, this is the perfect video for you. All you'll need is a space to work on and a clear view of your screen. And if you are ready to get stretching, let's go. All right, so when you are ready, we are going to start in a downward dog position. Now we're gonna do 30 seconds on, 20 seconds off of each of these movements. So when you're ready, send those hips up into the sky, really lengthen those hamstrings, feel the nice stretch. And you might wanna start walking out your feet here as you start to feel comfortable. But make sure you're going nice and slow. Just like that. Keep going. Three, two, one. All right, drop out of it. So next up, we are doing a downward dog as well, but this time we're doing a single leg downward dog. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take one leg and sweep it as high as you can overhead, pointing your toes to the sky, really feeling a good stretch in your hamstring of the supporting leg, all right? So when you're ready, let's get into downward dog. Lift it up, awesome. And when you're ready, you can maybe walk that foot to the center and bring the other leg up as high as you can. Now you should feel a really good stretch here. Ooh, in that supporting leg. <laughs> Asking too much of my balance here. Keep going. Awesome, and relax, awesome. We're gonna be switching on to the other side in just about 15 seconds. Awesome, three, two, one. Push those hips up, walk that foot to the center and you're sweeping the other leg up into the sky as high as you can. Now you might feel here that one side feels a little bit rougher than the other side, and that's definitely the case for me. Just breathe, nice deep breaths here. And relax. All right, next up we are doing a half kneeling hamstring stretch. So you wanna come up onto your knees, extend one leg out in front of you. Ooh. Find your balance. If you um, if it hurts your knees, you can add a little cushioning under, maybe a towel or a blanket or a pillow. But when you are ready, I want you to try and keep a flat back and lean over that front leg. Now the key here is that you're keeping your hips square and you are leaning with a flat back, right? I can get really far down if I come like this, but that's a lot of stress. So we wanna keep a nice flat here. and come out of it. Okay, we're gonna switch onto the other side in just about 15 seconds. Alrighty, five, four, three, two, one. Now, <laughs> this hamstring for me is a lot, a lot, a lot tighter, so I really can't get down too far here that's okay. If you have your chest against your leg right now, first of all, I'm jealous, but second of all, amazing. <laughs> I'll get there one day, I hope. <laughs> Three, two, one, come out of it, beautiful. Next up, we are going into a pigeon stretch. So what I want you to do is to step one leg forward, heel toe that foot out to the side and drop that knee down. All right, so this is a pigeon stretch. The further you bring out this foot in front of you, the further you bring it out here, the more intense the stretch is gonna be. The closer you keep it to your hips, the less intense it's gonna be. But you should feel your entire glute here light up and you might even feel it a bit in that hip flexor of this leg that's extended. Three, two, 
one. Awesome. Come out of it. Heel toe that foot back. Step it back. We are going to be switching to the other side. Hmm. Amazing. Step it forward, heel toe that foot over. Drop that knee, sink into that pigeon. How are you feeling? Are you taking some nice deep breaths here in through the nose and out through the mouth? Three, two, one. Amazing. So I was just on my right side. We're going to switch back over onto our left side into an extended hamstring stretch. You can come into a lunge here. And what we're going to do is we're going to lift up and push those hips back. All right. Let's go. Now, if you are struggling to have your hands on the ground here, you are almost always welcome to have some yoga blocks and pop your hands on those yoga blocks just to give yourself some extra support and an extra lift. Five, four, three, two, one. Come out of it. Love it. Awesome. We're going to switch to the other side. All right, so you ready? Step it forward. Come up onto that back foot and extend. Beautiful. Also here, you wanna keep your hips square to the wall in front of you so you're not opening up like this. Tuck those hips. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. If you want to swivel onto your bum and roll down onto your back, we are doing a lying hamstring, um, I mean, sorry, lying glute stretch. I'm just gonna grab this so I can tell the time. But let's go. So you're pulling that knee into your chest nice and tight. You can maybe point and flex your toe here. You want to give a little rock side to side. That might deepen the stretch a little bit for you, which is amazing. All right, five, four, three, two, and relax. Awesome. I'm just gonna extend those hips and stretch out those hip flexors. And then we're gonna switch to the other side in about 10 seconds. Well done for showing up today and giving your body this TLC that it probably needs. I know a lot of people have really, really tight muscles from sitting a lot or overuse or even underuse. So well done for coming here and giving your body some love. Because exercise nowadays tends to be a lot about just taking, taking, taking from your body and expecting it to do so much. But sometimes you have to give back a little bit, you know? And this is the perfect way to do that. Amazing and relax. All right, switching back over to that left side. What I want you to do is to cross the left ankle over the right knee. This is an a frame stretch or your lying piriformis stretch. You're really gonna feel this across that glute. All right, and when you're ready, you can reach through those legs. You can clasp behind your, your thigh and lie back. Now, the closer you pull that thigh to your chest, the deeper you're going to feel the stretch here. Also, the more actively you try and push this leg out, the more deep you're gonna feel that stretch. But I generally like to just try and slowly pull that thigh towards my chest a little bit more. 
instead of trying to force this leg out. Oh, we're done. <laughs> I, I got uh, lost in my yapping over there. All right, we're gonna switch to the other side. Right ankle over left knee. We're gonna reach through those legs, grasp behind the thigh, and relax the head back. How are you feeling? Are you breathing nice and deep? Amazing, you got eight seconds left. And relax. All right, so we are gonna cross that left leg over the right one again. And what's gonna happen now is in this A-frame position, you are gonna shift your legs over to the side, extend that arm out, only as far as you can go. You might not be able to touch the ground, but you should feel this glute light up like crazy. All right, so the timer has started. Breathe nice and deep for this stretch for me. She's intense. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Come out of it by bringing those legs up and uncross and get ready to go onto the other side. All right, right leg over the left knee into our aim frame position. And then when the timer starts, you can shift that weight over. Whew. It's a good stretch. And three, two, one. Amazing, come out of it for me. You can rock yourself back up into a seated position. Next up, we are doing a standing straddle. All right, so a standing straddle. You come nice and wide with your feet. Again, here you can have yoga blocks to elevate your hands onto, otherwise you place your hands on the ground here and just let gravity take you down. Use your breath to think deeper. You might be able to come down onto your forearms too. That's amazing. Three, two, one, come out. All right, so the next exercise we're gonna do is still standing straddle, except we are going to shift our weight over, our hands over to one leg, hold it there, all right? into your standing straddle you want to make sure your toes are slightly pointed inwards here oh, and when that timer starts shift your hands over to one side try and grab that foot and you should immediately feel this entire side body light up feel a good stretch there if you want to deepen it you're more than welcome to bend the opposite leg and that'll deepen the stretch a little bit Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. I'm just gonna hang out here. <laughs> and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, let's shift that weight over to the other side. The side feels a bit tight. To know about you. If you want to deepen that stretch, bend the opposite leg. Five, four, three, two, one. 
amazing. Come out of it onto your bums. Last exercise we're doing is a seated straddle. Come onto your bums. Legs come nice and wide, as wide as you can go. All right. And all I want you to do here is to, with a straight spine, try and lower your chest as low as you can to the ground. So here you'll automatically feel your inner thighs, your hamstrings. They should be nice stretched by now. All right, I'm just going to hold it through this rest timer and then we can call it a day. I like to hold this one a little bit longer because the longer you hold this position, the deeper you can find yourself sinking into it. So if you were to inhale nice and deep through your nose and then exhale, you might find yourself going just a little bit deeper. Point and flex. All right, give me three, two, one. Walk your hands up and well done. I hope you enjoyed that. That was really lovely. I think I really needed that stretch. I hope you feel a little bit more relieved and relaxed in your glutes and hammies after that. If you enjoyed it, do let me know if you want any other sort of stretching videos. I'm more than happy to take requests. And before you leave, hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.